Hey guys, what's going on? Trouble here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019. It's going to be the last video of the full month for a full what, 28 days. Last video, like I said, if you guys want to listen to the full video or the video before this, kind of talk a little bit about why we're skipping a full month. Nick and I are just for this month. Uh, we're going to be doing that, so we're going to be disappearing for a month of February this will be this should be up on the 31st it might get some stuff messed up kind of recording just to try and finish out the month so I have more time um, basically I went to squad told him what's been happening through the channel just I just like to give him an update kinda you know cuz I know he's busy I know he's got college and school and all that fun stuff plus his channel to manage of his own that's bigger than this one so He's got all that to do, and so I just kind of generally, you know, tell him what's going on, tell him, you know, what I'm doing, and I told him last few months that I was going to post daily for December and January, and so this month I decided to do every other day on there, on this channel, and do every other month, not every other month, every other day on in February on this channel and then do daily on mine because I'm trying to grow my channel trying to kind of get people over there because this channel is just not doing that well right at the moment and it does fluctuate I think school has part to do with it everyone's at school so no one's really watching it necessarily no one's paying attention to YouTube I actually since I've been a YouTuber and on both these channels I haven't had any time to really watch any other youtubers because basically how my schedule goes and the reason why I've been posting 10 minute videos is because basically I get home get on the computer record till probably five usually six o'clock some nights edit of course that's you know you can you can multitask but it gets tired of working I'm just tired of working so much and so hard for what little I get so therefore I'm gonna might not be posting for the rest of the year or we'll see maybe in summer we'll see how it pans out but I'll probably be posting some more videos just to see you know if anything's changed or what squad's talking about doing two different channels and I told him there's no need to be doing two different channels because if you're gonna do that then you're basically starting from scratch and you're gonna have no videos out there for people to watch and I could do that therefore I don't know you might as well go to my own channel and make that channel good and make that have you know 30,000 on my channel if by the way if you do if you guys do want to go check out my channel links in the description or in the card above that should have popped out at the beginning of the video I don't know if it does I pretty sure it does but yeah we got this cow pasture which I saw in the last couple videos we're gonna be doing that and we're gonna be buying some equipment today we'll kind of do that we'll kind of change back and forth that start sound is pretty good so yeah we bought the 450 and the 60 foot air seeder with the air cart behind it we'll get that hooked on so yeah, this is going to be the last video of this month and last video for next month. I generally don't do this, but I was planning on doing it every other day in February just because we're going to be doing some dry spreading and some farming work, some farming maintenance, things like that. I could record that. It's just weird to carry around a camera. I'm just not used to it yet, especially with like my dad and his his cousin it's just strange to do that it's just odd I'm just not used to it yet plus they don't think that YouTube will be good you know there's always an upside to things and a downside the upside to leaving squad forms for example is I'll have more time more energy more happiness because I left but therefore you guys are going to be mad at me because I'm not posting on there anymore so it's not really going to work that good so that's kind of what the whole you know and every parent thinks YouTube's kind of stupid in a way because there's really no money in it to, when you start out 
until you get bigger say like squads channel it's making pretty high dollar money the squads channel not not squad farms it's making some money it's not not a lot it should be making way more in fact I'm getting as if I were to post two videos a day on my channel I'd be getting the same amount of views that I would on this on this channel and it's got 30,000 subscribers or 40 by now I don't know sure but I have 4,000 on my channel so that's kinda you know I'm still getting views on there on my channel so really I think their people are just missing squad they don't want to watch us on there so I think us leaving the channel and squad coming on there would be the best solution and then maybe creating and then if squad really does want us to stick around in the community which I'm kinda thinking about just leaving the community going making my own with some buddies and kinda doing some different content just try to get away from all this drama and all this stuff I generally don't get into all the details on everything just cause it's crazy and people try and do things that aren't right and stuff like that but we're actually gonna get a building place down we gotta find one plus school work you know school is really hard on people it especially well my school it's not really hard it's just the fact that you have to be you basically have to show up because I have two shop classes well technically I could have well two two shop classes right now is what I got and most schools well everybody else has one so technically I'm kinda special because I have a shop class you know two shop classes so that's kind of normally you don't get two shop classes I'm gonna kinda build this up we have a lot of money to spend and burn up I think I'll probably just do that for a little while just kinda level some of this out a little bit try to smooth it out now just do that kind of do it in little layers so that you don't have to like there we go oh shoot you need to delete that some there oh gosh yeah I generally don't play with this tool much because usually it means that I screw everything up and spend a lot of money and it looks like crap anyway we'll get this leveled up a little bit here get it kind of smoothed up looking nice we did buy a nice new shed we're gonna be buying some big equipment and if you guys do want to continue this series continue watching me dang it I did it again go over to my channel links in the description you can see the same content that's on squad farms over on my channel and yeah and we're probably gonna be getting some fans on here some view people viewers on here so if you guys do want to see that let me know I'm gonna be creating a Google form here shortly once we get everything bought and kind of set up because I do have to I do still have some private mods in here that I probably shouldn't have in here but I do anyway so we'll have to get rid of that and get that all done and taken care of before we set up the server for people to play I'm thinking kinda do like a tournament type deal but not really a tournament if you guys know what I mean basically have people on here and basically have people on this server but I have my own farm they have their own farm and we kinda just get on whenever I might do that and then if people don't play then just kinda rotate people in and out and kind of get some people to play with me because I know you guys do want to. Alright, so we went ahead and opened up the door to that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this in here. Now, I don't know if it's going to actually fit or not. Looks like it did. Did alright. I'm going to ahead and fit in there fine. Pretty good sized shed. Should be able to fit this whole thing in here. Like that. And then we'll fit our semi-trailers and stuff in here. And I believe you can unload in this hopper. So you can take a semi or straight truck or something. Unload from there. And I was going to kind of buy some land. Um, we probably should actually fill that up and start planting. I'm going to just kind of place some stuff down today, get some stuff set up. Just because I kind of want to talk and see, kind of read your guys' comments to see what you guys think. Or see what some of you guys would probably end up doing in my situation. Um, really, as long as everything goes fine, I guess. Like... 
Wait, I'm gonna look at the collision on this. Probably gonna be a little laggy. Can't see it till you place it. That kind of sucks. We'll place the seed one there. We'll place the lime one. A little rotation this way. We'll place it as close as we can to this one. I'm gonna place the ladders out. Ladders like that. So we're finally gonna get all these placeables and stuff like that all placed down. Herbicide. We're gonna get a self-propelled sprayer probably. We're basically just gonna go in and cheat a whole bunch of money in and kind of set up a farm. I'm gonna get some people on here. Don't know who it will be exactly to tell you guys for sure. Probably be some viewers of mine on my channel. If you guys want to check that out, links in the description. You can go check that out. And I'll probably have a video on it here shortly. I don't know when I'll have it up. Up and out and ready. Been wanting to do a tournament for a long time. I just really haven't done it because this tournament and then of course Nick got banned from the other tournament so then he's doing his own tournament which isn't really I don't know the tournaments are kinda like okay here you go here's all your stuff work hard and then you get nothing in return squads you get money but everyone's like oh look he cheated and got this money and he did this and got this I put the time in I put in the work I got a reward in return that's how I think of things if you work hard at life, if you work hard at a job, and someday you'll be able to buy a mansion and be happy in your mansion and just be happy overall. You got lots of money, you've been working hard, you know, you feel good, you you like. But therefore, if somebody like pays you, just gives you money like randomly, just like, here you go, here's all your money, there's really no you know you don't feel the same way I mean yeah you have, you're living in a mansion but like if that was to burn down you wouldn't really care say it's like tools now I'm kind of a country guy kind of a little bit of redneck so some of you guys it might not get this but if I go out and buy tools and use them you know I take care of them and I mean I take care of them either way but I'll take care of them more and use them more and be proud of what I got or say I go out and buy a vehicle, you know, I feel proud of that. However, if my parents were to go out and buy me a vehicle and just give it to me, you know, you don't feel the same way. You're not going to take care of that, what you got. You're just going to kind of trash it, wreck it. And a lot of, I could see a lot of people doing that for, I mean, a lot of, you hear these stories like, say, I know seniors last year at my school, you know, they're like, oh yeah, this kid just, you know, got paid through, paid through, uh, got anything he want. He just got his mom's credit card, you know, he bought anything he want, wanted, went and got lunch every day, you know. But there are those rich people out there to where they, their parents just buy them everything. And that's, I mean, if you want to be like that, I think of those people as not very good in a way I think you might you you should work for what you want not for like what you're given because that's kind of I mean it's I don't know it's hard to explain things I can't really explain them well anyway we're gonna go buy a whole bunch of cows we're probably gonna buy 150 cows for right now and then we'll probably end up buying some hay getting some more hay land I'm not gonna haul them just because I don't like hauling cows. You know, it gets boring. You're hauling like a whole bunch of them. I'm going to go through and buy a whole bunch of brown cows. They're red Angus, so I like them. And that's what I'm going to buy. Then they'll reproduce faster too if you buy a whole bunch of one animal. I might be doing like the squad tutorial channel. Some of you guys may know it's out there. But what I'd really love to do is get a community together. So Nick, Garrett, um, me, Owen, you know, if any artist, Spencer, some of the bigger guys, basically everyone in Farming Simulator just needs to have a Discord. Every YouTuber that has Farming Simulator 19 needs to get in one big Discord and all get together and just make a plan, you know, make, make one channel to post on. So, like, you could be, like, mainly a tutorial channel. So, like, 
oh yeah here look at this you know you have you have um you have this to do and you have this to do it's like okay let's make a tutorial on which cow produces more milk let's buy 10 of these cows 10 you know 10 10 10 go through them all and make different pins and see if the feeding's the same i'm pretty sure the feed is the same but one may produce more milk one may produce more slurry that's why they have different types of cows you know in real life you want around here we run red cows so red angus raise them up for beef cows they're beef cows some neighbors like black cows we like red cows just because you know we think they're more calmer they're tame they're better necessarily they just um, they're just better at certain things you can I don't know they're just calmer we like them we just like them you know it's kind of like John Deere and Case you know this person hates Case but this person really loves John Deere or this person hates John Deere but this person really loves Case so it kind of goes back and forth I generally try to do everything so I try to make content like right now on this farm we have what we have New Holland I'm in a New Holland tractor we have a big bud sitting in the shed we have a case running somewhere I don't know where it's at right now I think it's in the shed actually we have a John Deere in the shed I try to balance that stuff out to where you get the same um, I try to balance it out to it's all the same so you have one New Holland and it's hard with combines too um, and off-brand stuff like Oliver, Alice. I just put them in kind of the Agco group because they're named Agco. They got bought out by Agco. So I just usually have one or two of them lying around. And they're pretty cool mods. Like in 17, you know, I had everything. All kinds of stuff. So this should be able to feed them all. I'm just going to feed them all up. We have 10,000 bales. 10,000 liter bales. So you should be able to fill them up pretty quick. So at 10,000 liter bales and 10,000 and 40,000 dollar, 40,000 liter mixer, shouldn't take long to do it. Looks like we're gonna. This mixer kind of unloads slow. Should have bumped up the unload rate on it. I think we'll jump in this dude because he's stuck. I should go put that trailer away in that new shed and get some header trailers bought. Probably we don't have to mix this since we got. I could just put this away because I don't think we're gonna be. I think we're just gonna plant everything to one crop, just do single crop, all soybeans or all of this. Probably not, actually. I'll probably still alternate them. We'll see how it goes. However, we're gonna get these ones fed. Probably gonna buy something like. Probably just buy it right now. Um, this thing right here, we'll go ahead and buy that. 300,000. We're gonna buy that for right now we'll buy that and then we'll we'll wrap the grass bales in the shed for silage for these cows but anyway I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button and we will see you all in the next one in march or maybe not we'll see but that's all for now